supposedly many uh, meetups, or oh, well, police would say no. <laughs> this is the Evening Star Hotel. Uh, it's been a long time. It's been what almost two years. We had a proper meetup last time. And uh, yeah, it's good to be back. So transhumanism Sydney, we've been having these meetups since what six, seven years ago. Just had a pub down at the Brooklyn or something like that. But now, you know, we've uh, expanded online for all this past couple of years. And we've always wanted to do something like this, right? So transhuman coin is something that we can all start getting together and find an economic incentive behind this movement. Um, so that, for those that haven't heard of transhumanism, uh, it's a movement, it's a global movement of technologists that uh, want to use science and technology to accelerate uh, things like research and development and longevity, so live longer and healthier. Uh, increase your intelligence through AI and machine learning and uh, brain-computer interfaces, you know, smartphones to get closer to your head, brain-computer interfaces. And uh, also well-being, so how do we make sure no one gets left behind? We can implement a UBI and uh, make sure that, you know, the technology is for everyone. And, uh, and that's what we're here to do as transhumanism as a movement, to get there, to expand the movement because it's been growing more and more mainstream, but we want to hit the main mainstream. We want to be like CBA, accepting crypto, right? We want to have that mass appeal, the mainstream effect. And today, I'm going to go through what is transhuman coin? Uh, why does it exist? Hopefully I'm not blocking up too much of the screen. Uh, how, is it going, how does it work? Uh, how does it help the movement? How will we grow? Uh, who's part of the team? We got some of the team members here already tonight and hopefully we can also get some help as well. And, uh, and the upcoming milestones we've got. So, and finally we'll show you how to buy transhuman coin. There'll be some announcements as well today for some awesome drops. Uh, so stay tuned. Alright, so what is transhuman coin? Oh, is it on? Oh, I'm on. I'm logging. Is it good? Ah, sweet. Nice. Um, so yeah, what is transhuman coin? We've all heard of Bitcoin, you know, it's a store of value. Now you can also make pretty good payments using Lightning Network and Strike uh, and Twitter. Uh, then there's Ethereum, the smart contracts that you can code and build decentralized applications and tokenomics. Uh, and then there's Dogecoin, right? So there's uh, the meme coins, whether it's all these dog coins, you got Shiba Inu, you got Floki, Front Puppy, you got like Doge on Mars. But the funny thing is like Doge on Mars is now officially for longevity, because that donation from Metallic of half of Dozla Mars to the Methuselah Foundation is now making Methuselah Foundation a steward of Dozla Mars. Um, and same with Shiba Inu, that was a steward by the Indian COVID Relief Foundation, and now it's uh, doing great things in India. So, uh, so Shiba Inu, all these dog coins, so how do we bring the dynamic value of these tokens, along with the smart contract of Ethereum, along with Bitcoin as a store of value and the transhumanist movement together to make transhuman coin, right? So uh, transhuman coin is a research and charity oriented token uh, and it's built on the Binance smart chain. The Binance smart chain is a fork of Ethereum and uh, that enables, instead of proof of work, it's a proof of stake authority. So the transaction fees are faster, it's better for the environment, but it sacrifices some decentralization. And so hopefully that will essentially build out as well as Ethereum 2.0 comes out, we'll build more decentralization into it. But it's great for an MVP of where Transhuman Coin is built out of. So let me tell you more. Uh, so why does Transhuman Coin exist? Well, in Africa, there is currently a quiet cryptocurrency revolution because uh, the countries like Nigeria, they represent 32% of all the transactions in the crypto space. Right? Yeah. So no matter no, idea. Right? Africa. In Africa. Yeah. So, like, no one had any idea. So, Vietnam, 21% globally, and Philippines are 20%. So, nobody had any idea, and because they were always mobile first, like M Pesa, right? These deposits are using their mobile phone numbers for banking. They never had a proper bank account. And now they've got crypto first. And what that, uh, the challenge they're having is also that inflation of 16% in Nigeria. Where do you store your value to make sure that doesn't get lost uh, through inflation? And now, we've got transhumanism landing in Africa, right? So we've got Dr. Charles Awuzi here. He's one of the founding team members uh, over in South Africa. He was born in Nigeria, migrated over to South Africa. And uh, yeah, he's got about 60,000 followers on Facebook. And 
What's funny you think is he was a pastor, a Christian pastor, and then found science and technology. So all that influence he had in the Christian community, he's brought to transhumanism. Um, he's essentially teaching people to how, to, how to think critically, how to apply the scientific method, and how do we fund these life extension technologies, these brain computer interface technologies uh, in Africa. So it's been great to meet Charles and uh, Elise and I. We have dialed in a few calls along with Bo and uh, Jonathan and a few others. And, and uh, we got Brandon over there seeing the chats. Um, so yeah, Dr. Charles is quite a great influence over there. We've got Singularity University in South Africa as well. Uh, so we run on um, annual events there, Exponential Africa. So a great starting point with, you know, there's literally the rest of the billion of people on the continent. And you can see the innovations already have in terms of crypto wallets and things like that. And in terms of how does transhuman coin work and how do we actually promote the movement through this process? The tokenomics of transhuman coin is such that uh, every transaction, whether it's a buy, a sell, a transfer, 2% uh, of that transactional value goes to the liquidity pool. So the liquidity pool provides the liquidity for people to buy and sell out of transhuman coin. And uh, that's 100% locked, so there's that there's no rock pool risk in terms of what happened to something like Spit Game token you might have heard, all these like scams, cryptos out in the world. There's a way to verify that 100% locked liquidity pool on the smart contract itself in the Binance Smart Chain. So yeah, it's completely transparent in how it's set up. Um, and that liquidity pool is at about 100 grand right now. So it's 100 grand of liquidity that you can buy and sell out of right now. Uh, the other 2% goes to the existing holders. So the existing holders, oh yeah, grab a better seat if you guys have a uh, existing holders, by holding transhuman coin, you also get 2% of the transactional value. And that's distributed based on how much you hold relative to the total. We've got a total maximum supply of 7 billion. And so it's kind of like Bitcoin of 21 million, but 7 billion, we want to make sure every single person on the planet can get a piece of transhuman coin. And so this 2% goes to existing holders, and that includes the transhuman fund wallet. And that wallet is what we use to make the donations to the transhuman projects. Um, so yeah, we'll talk a bit more about the projects we've already donated to. Um, and the remaining 2% goes to the marketing wallet. So we'll talk more about what we've done with that as well for the drop as we uh, later tonight. Uh, but that allows us to continue to promote transhumanism and to promote transhuman coin uh, all around the world. So we're here for the long term. We're futuristic. Uh, we've got a great community on Telegram. Uh, we've got about I think 15,000 people in that Telegram group. Um, we do things like community polling to help make decisions for this project. And we also have a fantastic scientific advisory board, right? We've got Jonathan Woods here joining us as well. Uh, we've got a whole bunch of guys um, like Natasha Vitamore. She's a uh, transhumanist leader. She's 71 years old, but she looks like she's like 40 or 50, right? <laughs> she's pretty awesome in terms of like how much she spearheaded this movement throughout the years, the last 30 years. And what she's done with the Scientific Advisory Board, including Dr. Avinash Singh, we actually make decisions and approvals on where the Transhuman Fund wallet, where that money goes to. So yeah, it's a very valid process in making sure we get everyone's vote. And we steer it towards the projects that actually have scientific value um, and also make sure that uh, it's valid and commercial as well. Um, yeah, we also have regular burns. So that, that 7 billion is actually starting to drop down because of these burns. Just to show that we want to distribute the dev wallets 19% current total. And um, the donation wallet currently represents about 7%. So that's just a bit of a trying to spread the distribution of these tokens through the tokenomics. Um, so the Gini coefficient comes down a little bit more. So in terms of what we've already donated to um, with the Transhuman Fund wallet, uh, we've already donated to Lifespan.io, which is a crowdsourced, uh, crowdfunding platform for transhuman projects and Lifespan, life extension projects. And so Lifespan.io uh, life is uh, run by Life Extension Advocacy Foundation. They're a non-profit in the US. And uh, we just donated 10 million transhuman coin to them last month. And so it's already having an impact in terms of these crowdfunded Lifespan projects. And they've made a great video on Lifespan News. Um, so about a cryptocurrency to solve the aging process, something along those lines. So go check it out, uh, Google Lifespan News. Um, so yeah, those guys are fantastic. Keith Camino and the team, I uh, really appreciate you and uh, thank you for uh, partnering up with us on this project. Um, yeah, and there's also, we're in contact with the other charities like the Methuselah Foundation we talked about, the Doge Fund Mars. Um, there's another blockchain project called VitaDAO. They're a, a DAO that's um, essentially converting commercial IP into NFTs. 
And so when that commercial IP gets commercialized, uh, the holders of VetaDAO into that NFT gets distributed with the royalty. So uh, it's a great way to fund early stage scientific projects for a DAO. Um, so yeah, we're partnering them in the future as well to spread the word on longevity. Um, but we are the main stock of, uh, of transhumanism. We want to be the Dogecoin, the, the shippers and the Dogecoin buyers of transhuman coin, but also make a real impact in terms of the projects that have been funded through the fund launch. And then we're also working with Buck Institute, the transhumanist organizations around the world, like Transhumanist Party in the UK, the US, uh, Trans Humanity Plus, which is a Natasha Vitamore's organization, and uh, the Mormon transhumanists as well. So we've got Lincoln Cannon on the board. Uh, including also the International Longevity Alliance, Alliance that's a uh, well-renowned uh, alliance for all the longevity projects. So how do we grow? Like, because if you think about um, these transactions of transhuman coins, ultimately we want to be like Bitcoin for transhumanist organizations. Because if you hold transhuman coin on your balance sheet, it preserves the value. It doesn't have that downside, you know, sell pressure on the price of transhuman coin. And at the same time, as more people join the movement, the value of transhuman coin increases. So kind of like with Bitcoin and Tesla holding Bitcoin, we want these longevity companies holding transhuman coin. And the challenge for people that you know want to get involved with these private organizations, like uh, the Longevity Vision Fund, the private fund, you can't get them unless you're an accredited investor in the US. You can't get them if you're in Africa in Australia. You can only fund what's local. Um, and even the public companies are hard to reach for a lot of those uh, you know, emerging markets. So we want these companies to directly hold transhuman coin. If we can get individual organizations or the funds itself to hold transhuman coin, it's a way for retailers and the transhumanist movement to invest directly or indirectly through uh, transhuman coin in their holdings. We're supporting these companies through the increase of value of transhuman coin. And the way we want to do that is Initially starting with those transhumanist organizations, those charities, but then looking at these commercial organizations. And then we can look at publicly listed companies like the CRISPR companies, like Intellio and CRISPR Therapeutics, like Editas, like Moderna, right? These mRNA organizations that are doing amazing work and helping get humanity back into the, into the real world again. Um, and Unity Biotech, right? These guys are looking at senescence research. Um, and Google DeepMind in the super intelligence space. Google and Microsoft and OpenAI, the amazing accomplishments they've done with Codex and automating code and GitHub, and uh, Tesla, which is developing their own spatial neural network. Right, this is like a semi, semi, uh, I guess, uh, sentient robots are these full self-driving cars, and uh, eventually they're also going to be in Tesla bots as well. So that's going to be on the road to artificial general intelligence. So we want to help make that positive future along the way. Um, and organizations like Neuralink and SpaceX are talking about making it multi-planetary and also the brain-computer interfaces. So yeah, this is, uh, this is how we actually get more holders and get transhuman coin on the balance sheet. And we already have over 3,000 transhuman coin holders. So this is some of the faces in Africa that are the early holders of transhuman coin. These guys are donating, you know, they're, they're pitching in $2 here and there. Um, because you know they just want to be part of the movement and the economic incentives of seeing you know that sort of movement grow. So we're seeing uh, this is a campaign we ran last month of uh, submitting your photo and you get a picture frame with I hodl transhuman coin, and that's been posted on their socials. And uh, we've got three of these so far. This is the first volume. We've had a second and a third one's coming out this week, and it's great to see the sort of the, the sort of bottom up the ground uh, the sort of community get behind us. Um, and we've also got, you know, like a tech-savvy type uh, transhumanist generation with the meme type of uh, advertising on socials. You know, we're just doing using Reface to put some pictures, like, you know, we've got Elon Musk as, Lip, as Neo. We've got David Sinclair uh, as uh, the guys that are at Wolf of Wall Street because he's raising money for longevity. And, uh, you know, we want to make sure that he can get, get as much money as we can for longevity. But Elon Musk, you know, it's... Uh, it's uh, sorry. <laughs> uh, Eurovision. Uh, we got David Sinclair again. You know, seeing the Hulk, and we've got over here. This is Bezos versus Elon Musk in the Mummy. And so uh, this is what happens when you got two p two billionaires finding it out on Twitter. You might as well just make a movie out of it. You got Elon finding it out. Uh, we got George Church. 
where essentially is the architect becoming exceedingly efficient and on mRNA CRISPR and AI. So like all this sort of stuff you can check out on our Twitter, hashtag transhuming point. I've got about hundred of these, I don't know at least doesn't like these. <laughs> but, <laughs> um, but yeah, that's, uh, that's the sort of extent of our marketing. Um, in terms of the growing the management team, so Elise, part of the management team, myself and Charles. Uh, we've got also Dr. Avinash Singh, who is uh, essentially a brain computer interface researcher at the UTS um, uh, in their Australian AI Institute, formerly known as the Centre for AI. Uh, he just recently won the Google TensorFlow Award for setting the standard for brain computer interfaces. Um, so yeah, he's, he's working with an IEEE on uh, facilitating that. So yeah, really grateful to have him on the chair. And he's um, he's not feeling too well today, so he's, he's watching online. But yeah, he sends he sends his regards. So uh, he just lives down the road as well. Uh, there's Zane as well. He's a chiropractic scientist. Uh, we've got Jabu, who's a dermatologist. We've got Dr. Toller, a medical doctor in uh, in the US. So we've also got Art Ramon over at the Transhumanist Party US and Jonathan Woods, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> um, and on the dev team, we've got Bo here. We haven't added the dev team. Um, but yeah, really keen to get more people on the board. Um, and uh, we've got more community members out here, like Stefan and Ian and, uh, and David and all those guys have been out. Bo, Brennan, um, all just been part of the movement all throughout the stuff. Uh, in terms of the roadmap, we've got an upcoming NFT collection coming out. Uh, so we should be able to announce it today, this week launch. So it's going to be an initial 500 collection. Uh, that's designed by his transhumanist Cy Gorman. He's, uh, he works at RMIT in the digital media space. Uh, the founder of Neurobody. Um, so he's a teaching member there. He's essentially working on the metaverse over there in the RMIT. And he's designed with Bo. Uh, Bo's helped. It's just essentially a minting process. Bo's designed the entire sort of back end of the contract, the smart contract of Binance Smart Chain. And uh, yeah, so Sites uh, supplied all these artworks. It's essentially also going to be uh, listed on PancakeSwap as a secondary market. But what you'll be able to do is go onto the website and mint these NFTs as the first holders of this collection. The 500 uh, from rare to standard, so there'll be some super rare ones. Uh, you'll be able to mint them uh, shortly as well. So this is the NASA collection, out of space, it's super intelligence, and it's going to have some PancakeSwap bunnies hopping around as well. Actually, we have the, I, I pushed the sign up so we can have a look at it. Oh, push the sign up? Alright, we'll bring it up, we'll bring it up after this. It's not done, it's just like, it's just a demo. Yeah, that's alright, we'll bring it up after this, yeah. yeah that's awesome. But yeah, we're going to bring some utility in the future versions. Right now it's just the uh, the NFT collection. bo has been working so hard alongside, you know, all his assignments and exams that are coming up. But uh, I think he's going to make more money without the, without the degree, but he's almost done, so he might as well finish it. <laughs> Uh, in terms of the utility of these NFTs, you're going to be able to use them for things like conferences of the past, so Singularity University, like Transvision, um, Rad Festival, all these longevity uh, organizations. And so that'll be the initial utility, and we'll be looking at things like Play to Earn, uh, so developing games in the metaverse, uh, and also eventually also the commercialization of IP as well. Um, and there's some community artworks that's been submitted from the Transhumanist Committee as well. So this is uh, Dub News work uh, on Cyberpunk. So we've got uh, yeah, Dub News uh, vision of Cyberpunk. Was, uh, she's based in India, so you can sort of see some of those sort of uh, the Indian sort of theme behind this as well. We'll be listing this in the marketplace uh, after this initial drop of the collection. Um, so you'll be able to mint these as well after this next one. Um, so the way we're we're splitting the sort of uh, we're contributing for the artwork is 70% of the proceeds goes to the artist and the 30% goes to the marketing and the developers, right? So for all the, for the smart contracts. Um, in terms of what we're going to be doing, initially it's going to accept Binance Coin. So Binance Coin being you know, the commonly acceptable cryptocurrency on Binance Smart Chain. And they're going to use that Binance Coin to buy Transhuman Coin. So that's going to generate you know, upward pressure on the price. And also Transhuman Coin will be then distributed to the artists and the developers. Yeah, and uh, we've already got an NFT gallery in Spatial XR, so we're already building out the metaverse. Uh, we've already got a, a, a VR space that you can join here. If you join the Telegram, you'll be able to see the link. But yeah, you can hop around and check out all the artworks. The hodlers, because we can't fit like 300 artworks uh, all in the one page, so it's much better in 3D. You can walk around and check out the scenery and also the community artwork in the back there. And we'll have the uh, 
the NASA collection in the other side. So. I should be able to host some online meetups in there as well. Maybe in VR chat too, Brennan. Yeah. Um, the other use case for utility transhuman coin, so Charles also owns the freelancer.com of Africa, the fiverr.com of Africa, and it's called Sahara Skills, and he's going to enable payments of transhuman coin on Sahara Skills. So you'll be able to buy freelance services with transhuman coin, and they'll be accepting that as transhumanist as freelance services there. We're also going to convert it into an e-commerce store, so you can buy you know, books and NMN and, and merch, so all sorts of things that you know, David Sinclair is promoting as well. Um, so yeah, it's going to create real utility in the e-commerce space. So yeah, that's a sort of high-level overview of the roadmap. Yeah, so that's the NFT market. We're also in the process of listing on coin market cap. We've already completed these first two phases, and uh, right now we're actually just doing a uh, the, uh, upcoming drop, so we'll get through that in a sec, and we'll also be listing, uh, getting the Sahara Skills payments as the next phase, we'll be listing on Binance Exchange and Coinbase Exchange, but yeah, you'll meet up just getting these major exchanges uh, listing as well too. And uh, yeah, I'm on the web about Plato and all the future of that. So we also want to be a multi-chain partnership uh, based crypto token as well, so Binance Smart Chain is great for an MVP, but when Ethereum 2.8 comes out, and also enable lower transaction fees and the speed of that as well. So we'll be doing uh, listing, do listings and, and tunneling into Ethereum, doing the bridge across that, Cardano as well, and, uh, and, Sync, and also our uh, Pulse Chain, which is Richard Hart's donation to Sense Foundation. Um, and it's also the proof of humanity. So this is where you can validate unique humans on the blockchain on Ethereum. And so this way we can do things like universal basic income with transhuman coins. So we know that you know, this wallet address is a unique human, we've got this double dipping. And that's the way we can use it. It's, a, it's an anti libel mechanism. So if you want to sign up with Proof of Humanity right now, just go to the website, you take a photo with your wallet address, like, and that verifies it. Someone vouches for you, someone you know that's already registered, and uh, you then uh, go through a registration process. And once you're on, uh, you start receiving one UBI per hour. And one UBI, UBI is about you know, 20 cents at the moment, but it was a dollar like last week because Vitalik is a full supporter of this. And he burnt half of a, a lot of, a big chunk of UBI. So they push it up to like a dollar 20 or something. So, I mean, it's pretty great for developing countries, $24 a day. And, you know, hopefully we can get that up to the minimum wage one day as well. So uh, that's, that's proof of humanity. We want to collaborate with them with Transhuman Coin. Um, and Singularity Net, that's on Cardano. That's uh, Ben Goetz, he's one of the Transhumanist leaders. He's trying to create positive AGI. Hey, Sharon, how you doing? <laughs> Singularity guys, we need a penny out in here as well. <laughs> so yeah, we want to become multi-chain, um, so that way we can have a transhuman coin, not just on Binance Smart Chain, but Ethereum, Cardano, uh, probably Polygon, Matic, and uh, Solana as well. You know, we want to share the love. We can build bridges to those. Uh, but yeah, that's essentially the roadmap. And how do you buy transhuman coin? Well, it's listed on the Binance Smart Chain, so any decentralized finance exchange, you can get that right now. So uh, you can go to PancakeSwap, you can uh, grab your finance coin on your MetaMask. So first step, get a MetaMask, transfer finance coin into your MetaMask, go to PancakeSwap, uh, find transhuman coin by copying in the contract address, and then swap it. So yeah, set your slippage to like 10%, because it was still early as a project, but... That's, uh, that's how you get uh, transhuman coin. Uh, we're also listed on a centralized exchange called Coinsbit, it's based in Europe. Um, so yeah, that, that was a great accomplishment. So if you don't want to go through decentralized finance, uh, this is uh, go through KYC, right? Old school, but uh, it works. And uh, yeah, check it out today. So I've got some awesome news to announce as well after this slide. This is uh, what we want to achieve in the next two years, decentralized virtual labs to be funded all around the world. So whether it's labs at UNSW, labs at Sydney, uh, we want to be able to fund research projects like David Sinclair's at uh, you know, Harvard School of Medicine as well over in, in the States, uh, fund these projects uh, to, to actually be funded by transhuman coins. So research labs coming soon, decenters. Um, but yeah, announcement here, we've got a bounty campaign that just went live this morning. And uh, there is up to uh, $15,000 US of transhuman coin up for grabs. And all you're going to do, post on your socials. If you've got your QR code out, you can scan that QR code. It'll take you to the campaign, right? And so it's about posting on your Twitter, your Facebook, 
with your articles, your videos, uh, Instagram, all of that. And uh, yeah, the, it will be over four weeks. The first week, we'll, uh, we'll set those bounties. And uh, first come, first serve. So yeah, try to get in and uh, get some transhuman coin donated. I'll give you guys a sec. <laughs> but um, yeah. How about that? Any questions? And welcome, Jared. Hey. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Thanks for coming along. Thanks, guys. And uh, we've got some of the team members here as well. If you have any questions, we got Alicia here. How you doing? <laughs> Thanks for coming along. Uh, yeah, I think that's that. So that's so that's this one. There you go. Sorry, that's it. <laughs> Hope you could hear all of you. Yeah. Oh, I'll keep it on. Keep it on. Yeah. Yeah. It's pretty hard to ask questions anyway, but if there's anything on the chat, let me know. Yeah. 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 Yeah.